my signature dish. Seriously, it's beautiful, it's sick, it's easy, and it's sexy. What all we have to do is get three punnets of uh, strawberries, give them a good uh, wash just before using, cut the green part out, cut into three or four, depending how big it is, kind of like that. Yeah, into a bowl. It's just one I prepared a little bit earlier. Same thing again. Doesn't really take that long. And then, once we've done that, put them into a container like this, but make sure you have cooking paper on the bottom. Beautiful. Yeah, it's really, really easy. Once we've done that, get vanilla bean, one cinnamon quail or cinnamon stick, whatever you like to call it, slightly crush it, spread it around. Two vanilla beans. So what I call this uh, recipe is strawberry vanilla jam. Again, you, you, you know how I do this, right? Yeah, easy. Actually, you don't need to get, you don't need to break all of these uh, vanilla beans. It's just... Here we go, we're nearly there. Beautiful, that's it. And I'm going to put uh, two cardamoms in there, two cardamom pots. Now, I've got to think about these cardamoms. Picked these up today from my local health food store. Just look how green they are. They're beautiful. And they smell amazing. So I would say the best cardamoms that you can find in order to check the quality of them, make sure they're green like this one, yeah? When they're kind of faded, that light green, it just means it's just been under the sun or the quality has dropped. But these babies, they just smell so beautiful. And just have two of these in there. Basically, cardamom pods, cinnamon, vanilla goes in every kind of jam or marmalade that you're doing. Everything. It's just a, a basic principle to all those things. And then, now if you're going to make dark jams, use dark agave. If you're going to use sort of light colored jams, like strawberry is kind of a, a, you know, that nice light red, then use light agave. Again, infused, uh, this time I'm using infused truffle, black truffle agave. It's about, so basically three punnets, of strawberries with one cup of agave. Uh, measure it out. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful. Got them in there. And then just spread them around like this. And what I tend to do is I tend to use a fork to just do this with it, yeah? Because you just want to get that water out from the strawberries and mix it around. Like that. And once you've done that, what I normally do is I get out a piece of paper. Because when you're putting this into the dehydrator for about six hours, what you want to happen is that you want everything to dehydrate consistently. Very important. Now, I would say this rule of thumb is with most things that you're going to dehydrate that are liquid based. Liquid. Here we go. And what I do here, because the moment you're going to put this in a dehydrator, this is just going to fall away. So what I do here is have two little spoons or forks or butter knives to hold it down. You put that on this, stick it in a dehydrator, about four hours later, get it out. In the meantime, get some nice orange uh, zest going and just basically candied orange zest would be amazing with this. You could always put that in there for about the last hour or two, and then throw it into the jam mixture. And once it comes out, you're gonna have this beautiful consistency. I mean, look at this. Yeah, let, let me get some out for you, so you know what you're looking for. I mean, look at this. Just beautiful. This is, this is if, you know, I've been working as a traditional chef in kitchens for about 14 years. And for the past couple of years that I've been a raw chef, I've realized a lot of things, if I did go back to a normal kitchen, I would do this for sure because the flavor, the intensity is just beautiful. Look at it. Hey? Okay? Mmm. Beautiful. Have a jam time.